This little critter here may be small and a bit creepy, but it could be saving lives in the near future. Named the Dynamic Autonomous Sprawled Hexapod, or otherwise called Dash Plus Wings, it was the creation of researchers at UC Berkeley's Biomimetic Millisystems Lab. Modeled after the shape of cockroaches, its nimble speed and small size will allow it to reach places that are too dangerous for humans, like biohazardous terrains and collapsed ruins of earthquakes. If you want to use it for you know, surveillance, for finding people, seeing if somebody's um, in an area that you're searching, you can put other sort of sensors on there to determine if there's any sort of chemicals in the air that you might not want to send somebody into. So we're kind of envisioning it in any sort of scenario where you don't want to send in a person, you could send in this small robot. And its ingredients? Cardboard and other cheap materials that are readily available in an appliance store near you. And so the reason we make it out of these cheap materials is one, for ease of construction. It's very easy to build it. It's very easy to cut cardboard. Secondly, it's because it's made out of a, since it's so cheap, we can build a bunch of them. So your scenario is like, if you're sending robots into a uh, building, you could send in 50 robots, and if 25 of them break and don't make it through, you don't really care because you have 25 more robots that are still trying to find your uh, survivors in the building. Dash's original body was wingless, but with wings, the robot roach became much stronger, faster, and sturdier. So we found a couple of advantages to attaching wings. One is that it runs faster, it almost doubled its speed with the wings flapping. It can go up a steeper incline, about a three times steeper incline with the wings versus without the wings. It's capable of staying upright when it comes, when it's falling. And it's also a little bit more stable. We found that with the wings on it, it would run stably, whereas if you didn't tune the robot properly or tune the legs properly without the wings, then it was very susceptible to flipping over. The addition of wings not only improved mobility, but it unexpectedly shed light on the evolution of flight. This grabbed the attention of integrated biology professor Robert Dudley, who recently collaborated with Dash's creators to test two main hypotheses on the evolution of flight, ground up and trees down. Dash supports the latter theory and suggests that birds may have developed flight by gliding down from trees. And previous work in that field suggested that you needed about a four-time increase in your running speed with your flapping wings in order to be able to actually take off and fly. Mm -hmm. And so we saw an increase, but it was only a two-times increase. And so from that conclusion, we determined that it's probably unlikely that a, a, an early bird would have been able to run along the ground and take off. And so from that, we think that since the wings were quite useful in gliding, that that supports kind of the gliding theory and the trees down theory more. So the next time you see a cockroach, maybe take a second thought from killing it. They can be the model for robotic creepy crawlers that potentially save your life, and starting points for revolutionary findings. This was Janet Jun, reporting for CalTV.